if you are with a guy who does not hesitate to tell you how fat you've become tell him you'll eat him too okay <laughs> hi girls gosh why am i like this hello everybody hi internet family how you doing if you are new here my name is Catherine, and i just want to know why haven't you subscribed no 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 i'm asking come come get it why haven't you subscribed why is that a problem do we have a problem do we hmm? please do that it's free so if you're new here i hope you get to stay by subscribing to this channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always finding my content worth the watch and thank you so much for staying i hope that you continue i hope that you plug your friends so that we continue growing as i always tell you guys i really really love doing this every single time i love picking up my camera and talking to you guys and guys you know I've done so many sit down videos in my house. You may be wondering, I will. Money shall come. I claim it. Hmm? Hmm? And that's on God. places. But for now, guys, how have you guys been? He Joto Muniskiaje. Just taking some water. Remember to hydrate okay and anyway guys as i before we without further ado <laughs> i'd like us to get into the topic of the day but as i said these days we start with something that tickles our our imagination or our our mind and today we're going to get i want us to get excerpts from this book who moved my cheese it's a simple parable that reveals profound truths and it's 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 kinda no not kinda it's connected to what we are going to talk about today so who moved my cheese is a simple book it's it's actually very simple very simple to read that most of you might find it nikama storybook ya watoto but with so many truths so many guy una shout and so many so many wow moments that will help you adapt to change move on from situations and all i know that life is so hard and i know so many things are happening people are still losing their jobs uh people are getting laid off people are broke the economy oh what the economy is skyrocketing the prices are so high I could simply and easily snitch on you for a little of cooking oil. Anyway, so I'd like us to read and I want to read for you an excerpt from this book. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for that part where I, this is how I read my books, I highlight. So just to remind us that. You do not need to sit in a situation thinking about why it happened to you or why it had to happen the way it happened. Um, things change and they are never the same again. You just need to move on. That's how life is. So you lost your job. So are you going to sit there and keep asking yourself why they did you the way they did you or are you going to get up and start looking for a new job if you really want to look for a new job i am not taking away or, or i am not taking away the fact that you're supposed to feel whatever you need to feel your emotions are valid you are you have a right to feel the way you want to feel after a situation but what next okay so whatever you're going through right now 
whatever situation you're in, you have dwelt there enough. It's time to dust yourself and move on. If you've lost your job, it's time to dust yourself and start looking for a new job. If you have lost your home, if you are at a situation where you cannot afford the house you live in, staying there simply adds on to you the burden of debt. So are you going to move from that house and get into a house you can afford? Or are you just going to sit there and keep talk and keep dodging the landlord? Life has to move on. You just need to dust yourself off and continue with your search. Continue looking for new cheese. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this book. This book has four characters, okay? Two mice and two humans. So there's this place they used to get very good cheese. Every single time they were sure. Walikuwa sure kila time lazima watapata cheese hapo. So kuna wawili when you are, they got very comfortable and it really happens especially when you get say a good job. You get very comfortable. You know yani you stop looking you 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 settle. And there are these two, there are these two who got really comfortable and every time they'd go in search of that cheese they even yani they got comfortable they yani wanatoa viatu wanazihang mahali yani and there's these two who were always ready for in case something ever happens okay so it's up to you so one day wakakuja wakapata cheese imemuviwa so of course you know the ones that got so comfortable they were not there for a while wondering why the cheese was moved okay the other two started looking for new cheese because there's always better your your mind is playing you if you think the situ as the, the place you're at is the best place you you've ever been your mind is playing you there's always better so if you ever get to a point where you've lost your job or lost a relationship maybe it was even toxic you're just holding on to bullshit you need to get to gain back your strength to move on you need to go get better. You need to know that there's better and you can always get it. Sawa sawa, food for thought. So, today I'd like us, let's now dive into our topic of the day. I think I can't be a teacher. I'm always all over. But I hope you understand what I said and I hope you're going to think about it. It's a high time you start looking for better, for more, you start looking for new cheese. Utafaindata hii new cheese ni better than the other. And you'll wonder why you wasted your time wondering who moved that old cheese well there's this very good cheese cheese here is a what do you call as is, is is symbolic to whatever situation you're in okay yeah so today i want us to talk about calming yourself when life is getting tough as i said i know life is a man's life is sad Looking okay, at social media, you can see everyone is complaining about one thing or the other. People are complaining about the hiking prices of goods and commodities. People are complaining about the loss of jobs or not finding jobs or not getting into good schools because of Kemenyano corruption or one thing or another. But so how, how then do you calm yourself? When life is getting tough, say you've lost your job, you've lost your livelihood, you've lost, I don't know, your hope in life. These are some of the ways where you can get yourself back on track or calm yourself when you're going through those situations. So, so one of the things is, first of all, this art piece here, can you see what it says? Can you see what it says? Hmm? Hmm? can you as much as life is really really difficult and as much as this might be toxic positivity you need to try and look at things from different perspectives again not taking away the fact that what you're feeling is valid but i think it gets better when you when you do this okay so one of the things is take walks Works help clear your mind, clear your mind, in offer, and offers you a different perspective. I think that's self-explanatory. When you're taking walks, at least sometimes just 
the headphones zako and just take a walk and when you're walking alone you're in your thoughts and you can you can never let yourself do you know most of life's decisions are made during walks or runs or meditation so take walks number two is indulge take a day off and spend a whole day doing exactly what you want what you want not what you're asked to not what someone else wants what you want maybe you just need a spa date you just want a spa date just take yourself on a spa date maybe you're craving some ice cream or some wings or some pizza just take a day off and go do that thing that you love go swimming go take pictures if you are a, a photographer or a photography enthusiast like i am you need to see this oh oh focus focus won't focus come on now there you go <laughs> anyway so spend a day doing indulge spend a day doing what you want be generous give something to a total stranger acts of giving make us feel warm and fuzzy inside the fact that you've just given to someone who needed whatever you've given it makes you feel oh i'm, I'm actually such a good person and that might help you uh calm yourself when you're when you're facing tough situations uh sit in a coffee shop or or a busy street and soak up the surroundings just sit somewhere and look around like in your java and that cafe hmm? And a mahali kwa rooftop. Just look around. Angalia tu vitu vile zina happen. You don't have to talk to anyone. Just be in your feelings. Be in your thoughts. Just look around. See how things are, are see how things are happening. In fact, some of the greatest art pieces they, they they've been made through looking around. You know, just look around. Angalia uyo mama mboga anafanya nini? Angalia watu kwa escalator ule anaogopa kupanda. Angalia just look around. Uh, educate yourself, research about what you are experiencing. For example, I know I s I don't know why I feel like saying this is claiming it, but I just have to say it so that you guys understand. I suffer from performance anxiety and uh, this feeling of maybe you're not good enough to take up a role. Ah, I can't remember. I, I'll write it down here somewhere. So, one of the things I did to get to understand that, that issue, I learned, I read about it a lot and widely. And I know uh, from reading, I, get, I got to understand why I am the way I am and why I feel the way I feel. So if you're suffering from, you're so much into your head, you're suffering from self-esteem issues or performance anxiety or fear of public speaking or even just self-confidence, just read widely. Read widely about what you're feeling. Get to understand how you can get to understand. You, only, you not only get to understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling, but also you get to understand that there are people that feel the same way, that go through the same thing, but have conquered a lot. Sawa, sawa. Say, for example, you are afraid, you are scared of public speaking because you stammer or you stutter. Read about Steve Harvey. Read about these big public speakers. You'll get to understand what to do, okay? So, educate yourself. Uh, arm yourself with the knowledge and the resources to tackle the problems head on. Okay. Um, preparation. Write the day. Write the day's to-do list the evening before. Especially if you say you suffer from performance anxiety. You come up with a to-do list and smash each and every one of them. One by one. Take them off your plate every single time. And do it before the day begins because okifanya the day in a the, the same day that you're supposed to finish them, it's most likely that you're going to get anxious that you might not do it to your best of abilities or you might miss some. Uh strengths, write down a list of twenty of your thoughts. 
one of the things ku toka from your head ama to be calm when you are struggling with something right a few of your strengths zenye umefikiria tu talk about oh i am a good podcaster i am a wonderful photographer i am very good at public speaking i am very generous yeah other strengths yeah they can be because they are also qualities um talk about maybe i got a promotion um i just came from an intern to a full time employer employee just write down your strengths inakusaidia kutoka could get out of your head and it helps you realize that you are actually a dope as person okay uh, keep going forward keep taking small steps no matter what being stagnant doesn't serve you let me tell you one thing and this goes to people who are depressed especially if you've been in your house two whole weeks you haven't showered and yes it's possible you don't need you yani who feel ni kama unaweza fanya anything and you haven't brushed your teeth how day you have almost you for how long if you wake up tomorrow or you wake up today and decide let me wash those utensils clap for yourself every single step you make in that situation you're in always always clap for yourself do not seek validation from anyone else just clap for yourself sasawa um revisit an old hobby if you don't have one create one if maybe when when you are going through a mental breakdown or you're going through mental health issues it's very easy to forget the things that you enjoy they are not fun anymore and that's one of the thing one of the ways how you realize that someone is depressed this person used to like picnics nowadays they don't this person used to like riding bikes they don't anymore they don't even want to know about it they don't want, they don't even want to hear about it they do not want to be involved in any hike and they were hike enthusiasts to to calm yourself when things are tough revisit an old hobby maybe you loved baking and you stopped revisit bake you loved taking pic- I, love, i love talking about taking pictures because i love taking pictures of myself and of other people if you loved taking pictures and you stopped revisit start taking pictures again you love creating videos and you stopped start create recreating videos again um prioritize decide what's important right now and say no to extra obligations this goes to employed people you need to learn to prioritize your assignments okay and everyone else actually hata kama ni you are a homebody and you have a list of tasks you need to 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 finish prioritize and pay attention to what's important okay so list them down you realize that some of these uh points are repetitive so sleep get enough rest 7 to 9 hours each night sleep helps you calm your nerves sleep keeps you off things so make sure you sleep don't be on tiktok at 4 a.m. and you're saying you have you there are situations you're dealing with mentally that is not going to help at all don't be zima your sim get off your phone and get your 7 to 9 hours of sleep every single day it it rejuvenates it rejuvenates your your you you it rejuvenates you like ni kama ukiwa thirsty oh kwanza tutakuwa thirsty and you take a sip of water that feeling yeah so be silly do something you did as a child <laughs> don't take life too seriously I was actually talking to my friend na tulikuwa tunaambiana not even my friend I, I think I was talking to Sam na tulikuwa tunaambiana how we really love an event where there are bouncing castles and trampolines and slides for grown-ups waende tu wacheze <laughs> kati wafanye wacheze mpara wafanye hula hu get silly get silly get silly don't take life too seriously as i told you in my last video my mom keeps telling me you do not you're you're not supposed to take life so seriously you're going to die so young and 
Utakufa mapema na utazeeka mapema. You are turning 30 and you already have wrinkles because you take things too seriously. Someone pushed you leo kwa kiu. Now you are annoyed the whole month over someone you'll never see again. Hmm? Someone lay, laid you off a job. Like yake inaendelea, they're still getting paid. Now you are angry the whole year because you think you did not deserve it. It's fine you did not deserve it, but so tufanye nini? Tutakapo the whole tutakapo forever. No, so get silly. Go. And I uko ufanye mpara. Go meet with your friends. Play board games. Play game game. <laughs> Play truth or dare, do something. Uh, check your self-talk. Negative self-talk does not serve you. <laughs> oh, negative self-talk. Every time something happens, you go like, ah, I'm so stupid. How can I be so? How can I be so stupid? That's why I can't even. That's why I can't even keep a job. That's why I can't even um, do things right. You need to change that. You need to heal. You need to heal. You need to speak to yourself the way you'd speak to a loved one. You've never looked at your boyfriend or girlfriend and, and went like, you're so stupid. Then why are you saying it to yourself? You look at your friends and loved ones na macho ya kuwapenda, na macho ya kuwa correct vizuri bila kuwa offend. Now, can you take that and do it to yourself? Angalia kio. Jambia vile, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so beautiful. Huh? I'm so, I'm such an exciting friend. I'm such a good daughter. I'm such a good mom. I'm such a good dad. I'm such a wonderful brother. I am such an achiever. I have not even gotten to half of the things I can achieve. And I know I can achieve them. You need to change how you talk to yourself. Take home. Talk to yourself the way you would talk to a loved one. Okay, that also means not being around people who do not uplift you with their words. If you are around people who wana kutukana na they hide it with us, ilikuwa jokes, go joke with your grandmother. Nonsense. So, you also need to check your surrounding. Who are you around? Who are you keeping as company? If you are around people who will never, ever, feel the need to uplift you or to tell you good job when you've closed a deal or for the fact that you just showed up and you've been yet you've been depressed a whole month they've not seen you who are those you're keeping you'd rather keep a robot so a lot of this goes hand in hand with the people you keep around and you also need to keep off toxic relationships. Sawa sawa. If you are with a guy who does not hesitate to tell you how fat you've become, tell him you'll eat him too. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. If you are with a guy who does nothing but put you down, keeps telling you of how so natosha naaje, sasa sikuizi oh, you go be with your sister, my your my your daughter, my your sister. So you also need to check you really, really need to check the people you're keeping around. Um, journal. Let me tell you people. Words can never explain how important writing, putting down your thoughts into paper helps you. It really helps. I think, can I read, read for you one? No. Uh, no, I don't think I want to share. So just journal, write down, put down your thoughts to paper. Like whatever you're feeling, you wake up, you wake up feeling sad, put it down. Say, I am feeling very, very sad because this and this and this happened. But now I'm feeling better since I've written. Kesha, you wake up happy, you still write, you say you're feeling so happy. And write down the things that are making you happy. So that... That day you're happy becomes your center. Someone said, you always need to have a center. Your center is that day that you're feeling fabulous. Because you're going to have days that you're feeling like shit. Okay? Whether it's hormonal or 
a situation just happened so you we all need a center a place where you go back to after having a sad day after having a sad morning after feeling when you wake up feeling so 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 unwell in your mind so stressed your center is your sequin you can feel vizuri sana so you always need to have a center and your center can be your journal your journal can 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 be can be your center because you can always go back to the book and read about the day you woke up feeling so great and what made you feel that great and if you can repeat those things that made you feel that great unaona zimekurudisha to a, a, a better place so yeah those are the things you need to do to get through situations that are making you feel bad or situations that you're in that you feel zina ku hurt to so yeah i think that's it from me for today yeah so i hope you learned something and i hope you love you loved this video and i hope that it helps whatever situation you're in don't stay there asking yourself forever who moved your cheese while you can get better cheese elsewhere sawa sawa so yeah please like this video and tell your friends to subscribe to this channel and they will not regret it because i'm the shit <laughs> because i know the content i create is meant to help you and help me and we learn from each other every single time okay so yeah until next time goodbye and please subscribe bye